like other instructional videos of this kind that I've done, I'm going to go straight into showing you how to make two adjustments to pedal assist settings on any Himaway bike, not just this cruiser, that I think will improve rideability and usability. Then I'll get into talking about why you might want to adjust these settings. First, you're going to press and hold the power button to power up the bike. Then you're going to press and hold the plus and minus buttons, hold them. Then you're going to press and hold again. You're going to enter the code 0510. Use the I button to skip to the next digit. Plus button to 5. Hit the I button. Plus button to 1. Hit the I button. Hit the I button again. Then we're going to advance to the second menu and press I. And you'll see either a 0 to 5 or a 1 to 5. The first thing to keep in mind is no matter what this number is, it doesn't change the range of pedal assist available to you. Zero is still going to be no pedal assist. And whatever this number is will be maximum pedal assist. All it's doing is changing the number of settings in between nothing and maximum that you can have available to you when you're riding. It usually comes from the factory set to zero to five. It might be one to five, but I don't recommend that because that keeps you from setting the pedal assist to zero while you're riding which I find valuable in a lot of different situations. Just to show you, you do have zero to three and one to three available to you. I don't recommend that. You have zero to seven and one to seven. I recommend zero to nine. That gives you nine different settings of pedal assist. So you have really nice fine control. Once you select the number of steps that you want to your pedal assist, you hit I and that allows you to start defining the power at each level of pedal assist. This is one, you can't go below 20. It'll usually be set to 25 from the factory. I think that's too much pedal assist for a level one, no matter how many levels you choose to have. I recommend going down to 20, which is the lowest pedal assist level that you can have. Then you're gonna use the I button to advance through the different levels. Since I'm doing nine levels, I do 30 for two, 40 for 3, 50 for 4, 60 for 5, 70 for 6, 80 for 7, 90 for 8. And then this is usually set to 95% pedal assist, but I recommend bumping that up to 99. And then press and hold the I button to save those settings. Next, we're going to advance to the seventh menu, hit I, and then keep hitting I until you get to... SSP. This setting determines how gently the controller applies power to the motor. It's actually counterintuitive. A setting of one is the factory setting and that provides the firmest application of power to the motor. It's quite a kick in the pants. I recommend going all the way to a setting of four, which is the gentlest application of power to the motor and then pressing I to get out of there. And then we're gonna press and hold I one last time. And by changing those settings the way I showed, you're gonna have more fine control over the amount of pedal assist that you get while you're riding and a less severe push of the motor when pedal assist kicks in. So here's where the settings really help. And this kind of more technical stuff where you don't want to accelerate instantly to 10 miles an hour. Oh yeah, this is way better. It's not working nearly as hard right off the get-go. And it's only trying to get me to about five miles an hour not 10 miles an hour. I have a lot better control at slow speed. I can maintain a slow speed much better with these settings than with the factory settings. And if I wanted more power, it's right there, just a click away.
massively improved. Bump up pedal assist because this soft stuff is kind of bogging the bike down a little bit. So I'm now at level 30. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> Whew. Not crossing that creek. Get this down back to pedal assist one. To so turn around with more control. Oh, that's a big improvement for when you need to go slow. But right there, I can bump it back up and get plenty of pedal assist for all this mushy stuff. It looks like grass, but <laughs> it's almost like a bog right here because of how much rain we've gotten this winter. Oh, oh, ruts, ruts, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, <laughs> that was awesome. That was so fun, fantastic. I survived. <laughs> That's what I hit. It was hidden in the leaves and it washed my front out. And the bike survived as well. Oh, that is so fun. So the speed base pedal assist takes a bit of getting used to. And I think the factory settings are too much of a kick in the pants and too much power right from a stop so it makes slow speed control very difficult but now that you know how to change it it's an easy matter to try it out the way i have it and if you don't like it switch it back if you're interested in getting a him away of your own using the link in the video description to do so will help support the channel. Be sure to subscribe for more e-bike videos. I really appreciate you watching the Tech of Tech and I hope to see you next time.